Welcome to another video. We are going to be smoking up some salmon from Alaska from this previous summer. Uh, some of you don't know, Alice and I purchased a chunk of land up there in Alaska, just a small chunk, but uh, we go up there every summer now. We got a lot of friends, family up there and stuff, so it's always nice bringing back a bunch of salmon. I think we brought back like 100 pounds this year, so we've been, you know, making salmon burgers. You know grilling some and now we're finally going to get some smoked up here and enjoy it yeah it's nice salmon bellies nice chunks salmon bellies actually make a really good you know some people throw them all and just toss them in the river but we like to bring them back and smoke them up they taste just awesome and just another chunk of meat not going to waste so in the brine we actually use um Canning, pickling salt. We use two cups to four pounds of brown sugar. All you do is you just take that salt, put it in the bowl of the brown sugar, you mix it up, make sure it's mixed really good. This is just a simple, quick brine. It's so easy to do, and it, it just turns out just wonderful on the fish. Any of you ever tried this before, you know exactly how this is. I mean, it just simplest, easiest thing you can do. You can hear the little one in the background. She's daddy's at home, it's daddy daycare. Gives me time to do these little projects. So all you do is you take this brine mix, throw it in a tub, a nice little layer on the bottom here. Man, this brown sugar smells too darn good. Now we got that, put our salmon bellies down. Now that we got one layer down, we just put brown sugar over that layer. That's why we use so much brown sugar is you gotta coat these things and put layers in here. It'll turn more into a liquid as it sits overnight in the fridge. Cover them up, nice even layer. Now we are ready for another layer over here And just repeat the process until you get all your salmon covered up. There, now that we got the salmon all ready up and brined, we are gonna put these in the fridge overnight. I like to leave them sit anywhere from like, you know, around that, you know, 12 to 16 hours. Usually a smaller batch like this, I could probably get away with about 12 to 14. No problem, and we'll get them in the smoker in the morning. 
Well, the salmon has sat in the brine for probably about 14 hours here overnight. So we are just gonna take this, rinse it off, let it dry, just until it kind of gets a, you know, kind of a tacky finish, sticky on top. Then we're gonna get it ready for the smoker. Well, we got the smoker up the tent. I got her set at 180 degrees. So we are going to get these salmon put on and they look delicious. It's one thing, it's going to take a few hours to do. Just come out and check them every once in a while. You want to bring the temperature of the salmon up to about 160 degrees. Pull them off, let them cool. They'll be ready to go. I was thinking about um, after you smoke them, you can also uh, back seal these things and put them in the freezer and they're good for a while yet. My favorite way though is I like them fresh. gonna look like my favorite pellets to use for smoking on a Traeger is using a signature blend or alder both actually work really well I just prefer a signature blend myself but let's check on these in a couple hours and see how they're coming okay well we finally hit the temperature of 160 in the center of the bigger piece of salmon there they are. But I am going to get these off and we're going to enjoy this. But uh, keep watching the video. We're going to show pictures of our Alaska trip this summer. Hope you enjoy. see if they still fit. It's gonna be tight, I tell you what. <laughs> oh goodness. 
going to be tight. And they fit. I'm in. Let's fish. 